Hello, property nomads. Hope you're doing well. And you wonder why nothing gets done in Britain. And you know, there are many perks and cons of the system that we have over here. And then this is just a shining example of things that have gone a little bit mad. So I've got an article here from Money Week. I would shameless plug actually if you don't read Money Week. I would I would recommend it actually. It's a very good publication. And there's an article here, and, and this has actually been over different parts of the news as well, but I happen to pick it up from Money Week. And it's about um, a new Thames Tunnel. So for those that are familiar with the sort of east end of London, uh, there's, a, there's a thing called the Dartford Crossing and Dartford Tunnel. So traffic goes over or under uh, the River Thames. And most of the time that road is a pain in the ass. But hey ho. But over the years, over the years, what's happened is that there have been these plans to put in a new Thames Tunnel. So maybe something a bit further on downstream can help ease congestion in and around you know, the Dartford Crossing uh, and also to allow some flexibility, those sorts of things, which again, great idea, love the idea of it, not a problem, let's go, let's crack on, let's get this thing done. However, and this is where the article is funny and sad at the same time, and it says here, that the plan to sort it out, so basically the plan for the new tunnel, has been in the works for 15 years. Apparently, the locals uh, on both sides of the river are in support of the project. So there's no major stumbling blocks, as in it's not like all the residents are in uproar about it. Apparently, most of the residents are, yeah, count me in, let's, let's do it. Uh, but nothing's been done yet. Nothing's been done. However, the work in the background, and this is where the numbers are staggering and sad, and this is an indictment of our country. The planning application is 359,866 pages long. There are apparently 94,534,000 273 words in the application. If you printed out all those pages and stacked them up, they would be as tall as eight double-decker buses. To just print out all of the pages would reportedly cost you £45,000. And the national highways, now I don't know where national highways get their funding from, whether it's car tax users or whether it's government or the Bank of England. So I don't know where they get their funding from. They have spent two hundred and sixty-seven million. That, that's right, two hundred and sixty-seven million preparing the fucking application. And Money Week here says that that sum would have been enough to build the Eikson Tunnel in Norway, apparently, uh, which is apparently the deepest undersea tunnel in the world when it was built. And it went from an idea to construction in just three years. The Dartford Tunnel, uh, whatever they're calling it, is likely to cost £9 billion. Pounds, and according to this, won't be with us for another 17 years. So everything that's wrong with this country is summed up in that. But we want to try and get from A to B, but we want to do it in the most bureaucratic and dumb process possible. Now, I've said before that there are pros to the UK. Relative political stability is a good thing. The legal system to an extent is a good thing because it's been around for so long and you sort of know where you stand on, on the legal point of view. But when it comes to actually infrastructure, and we hit on this with a video recently about EDF and, and the nuclear plant in, in Hinkley Point C, and how much that cost overrun because of various reasons. But th this here, going back to this tunnel, just seems absolutely ludicrous. I mean, it's bad enough that a planning application is over, well, 30 pages, let alone 300,000 pages. The fact that it's cost 267 million just to get to planning or just to prepare the planning case is it, just, is absolutely mental. I th surely people can look at things and go, OK, do you know what? We need to be a bit more cash efficient here. We need to be a bit more effective with what we're doing, how we're managing this. And as I said, I don't know where National Highways gets their income from. If it's the government, we're all getting screwed. 
If it's the Bank of England, well, we're still all getting screwed because they're just going to print it and we're going to get inflation. If it's the taxpayer, as in the car taxpayer, then the motorists are getting screwed. All for an application that will likely go ahead. But you think what's going to happen in the next, according to this, 17 years, uh, where we are with inflation and, and the world economy, and I think it's going to get more expensive than the nine billion that Money Week is saying in its article. And it's a damning indictment. I don't always agree with what China does on, on a different level, but what I will give them credit for is if they want to get something built and done, they will get it built and done. They'll just crack on. You know, you want a, you want a nuclear reactor in the middle of the Gobi Desert? Crack on, done, built, see you later. Oh, we need to build this railway from here to here. Yep, done, cool, crack on. Let's get people to work, see you later because they're improving their infrastructure and they're very rapid. Yeah, there's losses there. Uh, people might have to be moved out of their homes or, or whatever it might be. But that you got to look at the bigger picture. And I think here, you got to look at the bigger picture. Is a, a road project like that going to be very useful for that area? Yes, chances are it will. Will it provide a lot of economic benefit to the area? Yes, you would imagine that it would, because it frees up a lot of, it frees up a lot of area. You know, it gets people from A to B quicker and um, people like that. They're not then, me and maybe thinking, oh, I've got to go over the Dartford Crossing. Or I've got to go through the Dartford Tunnel today. And they're not thinking that anymore. They're thinking, great, yeah, well, we can go this way and go around here. So it unlocks a lot of potential. And, and yet, for some reason, it's taken, and I should mention, looking back at the article, is the project uh, was, has been or was designated as a national priority 13 years ago. Obviously, not that much of a priority because it's still not a spade in the ground. But this is the sort of thing that drives me out the wall in the UK. Now, as I said, we're not perfect. I'm not just going to continue to sit here and bash my own country. There are things that we're very good at. There are things that we're not so good at. And this, this over-bureaucratic bureaucratic process is something we're definitely not good at and definitely needs working on. There isn't, that, that should have been built by now. And all the while, again, at £267 million, pounds, where are they getting that cash from? Are they spending it wisely? The chances are they're not. And if people want good public service in a good public sector, fine, I'm all for that, but it needs to be run properly. And £267 million pound on a planning application um, is not being run properly. It's very, very frustrating to say the least. Go check out the video with EDF as well and uh, Hinkley Point C, because that's another think gone completely bonkers in the uk thanks for watching a quick small favor for you please subscribe to the channel uh, like the channel uh, leave leave a comment in the section uh, leave a comment in the comments section below uh, that'd be absolutely fantastic uh, no link to this article as it came out of money week but i'm sure if you googled it you'll find something and uh, thanks for liking thanks for subscribing we're seeing the numbers go up and it's a, it's a pleasure to be able to rant and try and add value where possible Thank you. See you in the next video.